get these videos from interview.com interview.com is a job portal if you're looking for a job you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume in there with us in this video i'm going to talk about three collection java integrations what is the difference between array list and vector vector methods are synchronized while the array list methods are not so if you are using uh, if you want a thread safe collection then you can go for vector if you don't want any thread safety you can go for array list and if you uh, if you use vector there will be a performance issue because uh, performance hit because each message of every uh, every methods of vector are synchronized let's see in our uh, rt.jar so i open rt.jar from the pro java environment okay java environment i am using a D java decompiler to see the classes so i have i'm using D decompiler to see the vector class so 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 lot of methods are synchronized in the vector vector class you can you see here so so many methods so a lot of methods are synchronized in the vector whereas array list if you see these two classes are available in the java util package java util package you can use decompiler to see all the coding that they have done so array list is like uh, does not have any synchronization in their methods whereas vect vector has synchronized the other uh, iterator is iterator a class or interface what is its use iterator is an interface which is used to step through the elements of a collection iterator is like a it's an interface and it will be useful for iterating a collection let's see the uh, class iterator is an interface okay and it has three methods it will be implemented by some other classes so let's see an example so this is how iterator looks like iterator is an interface and iterator is used to iterate a map map or hash set or whatever it is so for any collection you will have iterator if there is a support for iterator you can use iterator to iterate the collection so i have added few elements in the map and i'm using iterator with method called next i'll get each object from this map and i will i can use it so th this is the use of iterator what is the difference between hash table and hash map hash table does not store null value it does not store null value whereas hash map stores the null value hash table is synchronized while hash map is not synchronized let's see in the decompiler so hash table if you see lot of methods are synchronized so if you want thread safety in your application you can use hash table okay so hash table supports uh, synchronization and hash map if you see here it does not have any synchronization and hash table uh, if you go to this put method it does not allow any null value see can you see here if the value is null it will throws a null pointer exception that's what the point we are talking about hash table does not store null value hash map does Hope this video is useful for your Java interview preparation. Thank you and all the best for your interview. If you like this video, please press the like button. Thank you.